to have a senior in that position. That yeah, was quite a play we called. Just get out of his way and go <laughs> shoot it. So, yeah, it's good. You know, he's made a lot of big plays for us. Uh, I don't know if he's made game winners, but he certainly made a lot of plays to put it in overtime, uh, like he did against Indiana too. I think with two seconds left. But uh, yeah, he's he's just uh, you know he didn't get any rhythm in the first half, but second half you know, we played at least a little bit smarter offensively and drove it downhill. Much Coach, if you don't mind, talk about the play of obviously Frank Mason, but as Josh Jackson's well, we've talked prior to the season about what's expected of him. Do you think he pretty much had to come out game tonight? Uh, I think he had, yeah, I thought, I thought Josh was great. You know, he's by far the best player in the game there, you know, start the second half. Uh, uh, but the, the thing about it is, Josh is, I mean, without being negative at all, you know, you can't let his emotions get the best of him. And he's, he's a pretty emotional guy. And he's got to be able to con contain that a little bit better. Uh, if he hadn't got the technical, it wouldn't have been foul trouble, you know, but for just some silly knocking the ball out of the guy's hand for no reason. So, uh, but but he's a he's a heck of a talent, as you guys saw, and he he got a little bit of rhythm, and, and uh, certainly uh, he put us on his back there for a period of time. Right here, coach. So, considering how big Judoka's role is going to be for the team, how encouraged are you by what he did tonight? Well, I was really encouraged. You know, he doesn't. You know, he's just raw as there is, and. and uh, He's actually got good touch shooting the ball, little jump hooks around the basket. Really didn't get a chance to show that tonight. But, but um, you know, we, we're, we're not a great rebounding team by any stretch. And you know, he gets he gets 12 and 15 minutes where you know our other bigs get seven and 30 or whatever. So I, I, I certainly see his as he gets more and more comfortable. And, uh, I certainly see his minutes going way up. He, he he's going to be as important as anybody on our team on how how good we can be. Yeah. No, we all get like. I don't know. I, you know, you know. I, I think NBA is missing the boat on him. I, I think that uh, you know he doesn't he doesn't fit the eye test. You know, with you know, length, and standing height, and that kind of stuff. But he's got some things you can't teach and intangibles that, that are that are that are as good as anybody in America probably possess. And you know, Devontae's the same way too. I, I I do think it's you know for two kids that committed to. Appalachian State and Towson State, I do think they've got quite a bit of national attention uh, going into this year, but, but still it's amazing how how, uh, how tough those two are. You know, Devontae couldn't do much. Uh, down, you know, I asked to come out. I said, I can't take you out. I mean, because uh, he's cramping, you know, with five minutes left in the game. And uh, I just told him to go stand in the corner. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's what he did. Uh, but but uh, certainly uh, Frank Frank made some plays tonight that were that, that the end one he got Think to put us back up like five or seven, and, and then, and then uh, Carlton made a big shot. But that, but that play late was, that was a big time to play against a good defense. What is a win over a high quality team like this early in the season, particularly the way you want it to be going forward? Well, you know, this has been a, a pretty long trip. Uh, so going on to, you know, if you're going to travel, you know, 11,000 miles, you might as well win at least one game. Uh, so this was more of a must win for us than probably was for Duke. Not that there's must wins this time of year, but but uh, I think it'll do something for us because for the first time we, we won a you know we won a game and we shot it like crap. Two of seventeen from three, nine and nineteen from the line. But you know they don't get transition points and, and we control the glass. It's not that complicated. Uh, uh, so so uh, you know hopefully we learn some lessons to know that you can not be great offensively and, and, and still win if you just you know to do little things and, and uh, play aggressively. And, so I, th I think I think it should, you know, hopefully, yeah. But I think it should both well for us moving forward. Yeah, Coach Nicole. You were talking about playing Devontae together. I mean, what, what kind of luxury is that to have those two guys playing together in your backcourt as coach? Well, it's good. You know, we, we've been we've had some good guards. I mean, we've got Collins and Robinson and Chalmers back there. You know, there was three of them. We only have two of these, but but, but uh, certainly. Uh, you know, those guys are, they're, they're both, uh, without, you know, they're both pit bulls. They, they both got a kind of an assassin mentality. Uh, uh, and, and, and they probably, you know, bring our team as much toughness as anybody does. But, you know, we, we don't always play pretty. We're not, this team's not going to. But certainly we, we can compete. And we didn't compete in Hawaii like we did tonight, even though we didn't play great, at least we competed. 
with with Josh, you see the passion that he plays with. How do you harness that so that it's not a detriment to the team? Well, we'll have to. You know, I, I also think this for 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 a, for a young kid uh, playing Indiana, you know, on that stage and playing Duke on this stage is probably not the two best teams to play for somebody with the expectations and the hype around Josh because you want to go do it yourself as opposed to leaning on the others to do it. I, I wish we had a, a little game where you can get the rust off and, and go through this rather than high profile games. But, uh, you know, he, he'll do that. He wants to win. Sometimes, uh, some guys, guys thinking that they really want to win and, and, and really competing hard are, are, is counterproductive when, when, when they're when they kind of lose focus, you know, part, keeping focus and thinking next play is part of competing, and I think he's got to learn that. But certainly, yeah, I mean, he's got some guy given talent. Bill, with the charge led by Josh in the second half, you guys got you know a decent lead, and then Duke with the push, the building was so alive, like in a sheet can only be. What did you learn from your team as it really faced a, a strong push from Duke there and kind of a toss up game in the final minute? Well, I I think that I. You know, they played out of foul trouble. We played out just as much foul trouble. I mean, those were makeshift lineups that we hadn't had a chance to practice with a lot. Uh, uh, but but uh, I've always thought, you know, these guys were, were pretty tough. And I'm not going to say that we're not near as tough as we need to be because collectively everybody needs to do it, not just a couple of guys. But to, to, to see how they fought and, and played out of kind of an adverse situation, I, I think it, I, I think it, you know, it, Although it, it probably doesn't mean much in the big picture, but I, I, I do think it kind of gives our guys some momentum or at least some confidence moving forward. Right here on the end, you, you mentioned both of the fouls. I think, I think you guys have played in two games that have had 111 total fouls called. Is that something you expect to, to kind of maybe go down a little bit as the season goes on, or is this kind of the new norm, I guess? Well, I, I, you know, hopefully we can get under 100 uh, uh, you know, over the next two games. But you know, it, I don't. I, I don't know how the first game was. If it was a uh, call in there is tight, but, I, but I, I looked at our fouls. I thought we fouled. I mean, I didn't think they were bad calls. I thought we fouled. Uh, maybe a couple I didn't agree with, and, and uh, I'm sure coaches Chesney would say the same thing. They, they probably fouled too much as well, and and, uh, and it hurt them fouling because they, they didn't have bench guys to go to. Uh, not having their guys obviously hurt them too. You know, we don't have any more guys, so, uh, but, but uh, yeah, we, we've got to learn to play with our head and our feet a lot, a lot better than what we are right now. We foul when it doesn't have anything to do with the action. I mean, how many times we foul away from the ball? I mean, I, you know, so it's not very smart. Bill, you had three guys over 30 minutes tonight. How concerned were you about fatigue after you know, such a long trip? Yeah, well, we didn't have an option. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I was concerned. Uh, but if Frank hadn't gotten foul trouble early, he would have played 40 as well. So, um, you know, Spee and LeGerald aren't used to playing those number of minutes. And, and uh, But we, we can't have Landon Carlton foul him like that, put us, in, put us in that position to have to play small like that. But uh, uh, it, it's a concern, and certainly we're going to have to get much better playing without fouling, or, or, or it'll catch up to us. We got lucky tonight, it'll catch up to us. Okay, thanks. Coach, right, Coach thank K's waiting. So we